Return of the Lizard King. And today I am dressed like the first edition Dungeon Master, inspired by Zebediah in his sweet costume. Mm. Yes, I have I have the key. This is the key to adventure. So I, I hold it. <laughs> anyway, so um you guys went through Return of the Lizard King and you defeated the Lizard King. He did return, but you you killed him. Yay! And, um now I guess you went back to the Zopchik tribe and they were all, you know, hey, oh, that's great. You did that. That's nice. And um, Winra, her player can't make it today. She got really sick. <laughs> she got, like, the chult sickness. So, No. It's the vines. So, <laughs> yeah. She accidentally ate a vine hot dog. It was Zebediah's fault. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it was. Vine poisoning. Uh. <laughs> so, um... They, they give you some advice as far as where to go now because, you know, you know about this death curse that needs to be stopped. Mm. So they tell you about a place <clears throat> to the south called uh, the Snout of Amgar. There is a druid there named Mudgraw. And he, he can help help you. Mudgraw, you say? Yeah. Because right now you're on the very south part of Chilt. But we don't know where Omu is. And you might be the only people who can do this, except for the other three groups that are out there. <laughs> Wait, there, there are three other groups he, out I there? I didn't say that, actually. <laughs> I just <laughs> thought it. So, um, and you've got Salid. Oh, also, Fire disappears. <gasps> Fire! Will you ever see him again? I don't know. Aww. So, yeah. And, uh... Let's see, you've got your evil monkey familiar and your friendly Almirage familiar. And Salida, the Wan tees with you. She's got two scimitars. She fights with two scimitars. It's just so nice. Cool. cool. I got her stats right here. Um, they say, oh, yo, so, uh... You should probably start walking through the jungle. You know, there's probably not a lot of time. Again? Yeah. All uh, right. Sure. Jungle's very dangerous, so watch out for the zombies and the dinosaurs. Hmm. And don't drink the water. You get the so, thro throat leeches. Don't swim in the water either. I got one of those. Yeah. Uh, wasn't very nice. Yeah. All right. Well, bye, guys. Yeah. Um, should, should we get, like, a, a stretcher and carry Winrow with us? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, yeah, you get a thing. Okay. I like the idea of us really, really strong mage types carrying this. <laughs> yeah. We got this. Uh, wait. Yeah. Wait. Maybe we can make a wagon out of wood. That is what you make a wagon out of, so possibly. <laughs> no, making a wagon take a long time. Just use our wagon. It's the least we can do. Oh, cool. I have, a, I have a wagon. Well, thank you. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye. It was nice to meet you. Bye, thanks for, thanks for Bye, saving, everybody else. Thanks for saving all our tribes. See you later. <laughs> well, we did say from the beginning that we were heroes. It's true. You really are. 100 Surprisingly. Okay, see ya. Wait, wait. Before you go, <laughs> one, one last thing. Now, so we know how to get to this snout area, but what about uh, this port city that I heard about? This port no Nomo, I think? Oh, no. do you mean <laughs> Port Nainzaru? Or do you mean the lost city of Omu? Um, I'm pretty sure it was a port city that I hold up the necklace that the druid lizard folk girl oh. lady gave me. And like, um, yeah, she told me to give this to her friend. At that town before uh, before she passed away. Hmm. That's really, really, really far away. And uh. if you go to Snald of Amgar, there's boats. Oh, I know about boats. Also shipwrecks. Those oh. are good. <laughs> Hopefully of, you don't know about those, people. Full of treasures. 
Luckily, no boat I've ever been on has wrecked, so that's that's pretty great, I guess. Okay, guys, <laughs> I, I gotta go to the bathroom, so see you guys later. Okay, bye. <laughs> Good luck with bye. the dick curse. I guess. Have fun peeing! <laughs> Where we don't pee. Oh. I guess we maybe we do. I don't know how that works with lizards. <laughs> Okay, on that note, yes, let's go. We're, I, okay. I just start. I just start moving the gentleman out. Like, let's just. I don't want to know. Oh yeah, Move before on. we go. Yep, nope, nope. grab him, pull him. Get out! <laughs> Get out of our cabin! Fine, jeez, jeez. <laughs> We've had I, of you. I know a thing or two about overstaying your welcome. <laughs> I do it all the time. We should just go. <laughs> Usually, it's the other way around for me. Hmm. Oh well. It's probably not you. <laughs> okay, so it's time for a jungle travel montage. Nice. Who wants to make a survival check for foraging? Oh, so Lord. when you journey through the jungle, it's hot, it rains for a little bit every day, and then it's super hot, and then it rains, and it's super hot. And, you know, it's the jungle, so there's snakes and birds and all sorts of weird, undiscovered fruits and vegetables. So mm -hmm. during the day, you can forage to get some edible food. And at night, you can set up your rain catchers, which are just things that catch the rain and you can drink from it so you can fill your water skins in the morning and you have enough water to survive because you need about two water skins full of water each day to to prevent like starting to get exhaustion oh boy so, so every day is like that so who wants to make this survival check for foraging for one day just to see how that goes all right group powwow since winter is unconscious mm. who other than her is good at this I, Zibidai raises his hand. Um, I live out in the woods all the time. Great. Um, Under, understandably, I'm better in like ocean survival type stuff, but I'm I, I, I'm sure I can adapt. I'm no better or worse for it, but I might poison you by accident if I pick up something wrong. So I think we should defer to Zebediah. I remember. I remember one time I was fishing at the lake and I caught a snapping turtle. Man, that made for some really good soup. Maybe we can run into one of those. Hmm, perhaps. All right, Zebediah, why don't you show us how to do this? Maybe we'll learn something. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh. What'd you Twelve get? Twelve on the spiral. Twelve. All right. So you guys are walking through the jungle. Mm -hmm. Twelve. Let's look at the result for that one. Uh, it looks like you found weird blue fruits. I like oranges, but they're blue, hanging from trees. Salida so says, "Are these are these safe to eat?" Hmm. Why do we find that? Um, I guess that'd be a knowledge nature check, right? It starts to rain. Oh. Hmm. Maybe we should set up camp here. And uh, yeah, we should set up our. Uh, Collectors to get some drinking water. Yeah. Okay. So you can do anything okay. with these blue fruits? I, I'm going to knowledge nature on them just to see, I guess. Or whatever the. um, I'm thinking 3.5. Um, just nature check. Uh, 14. Okay. They got juice in them. Nice. Um. You can tell they're not full of lethal poison. Um, hmm. They seem to be safe to eat. I go to take a bite, obviously peeling off the uh, skin first. Anybody else taking a bite? Sure. I also take one, yes. <laughs> Everybody. We're all, going, we're all going together. I also give one to Salida. Everybody make constitution saving troll. Oh, God. Hooray. Excellent. <laughs> the whole party died. Oh. Let's right. see. Oh. Oh. Okay, so what did Pleto get? 18. That's good. Rain? 19. That's good. Zeb? 20. Oh. Oh, look at that. Slime. We are a <laughs> Salita says, I want to try. This sounds oh. good. Oh. I have a plus zero. No. So she, she eats it, and suddenly, she starts to spasm and begins oh. to dance like oh. a monkey. Okay. 
I stand up and grab her hands as best I can as she's shaking all around, and I try and dance with her. Uh-oh, what's this from the brush? A large creature oh. is lumbering into the scene. It's, oh, no, uh, is it the Triceratops? You know what an ankyla, ankylosaur oh. is? Yeah. It's like a... It's got a big... It's four legs, and it's got a huge tail. It's like a mace. Mm -hmm. it's, oh, yeah. Um... So, it's a zombie ankylosaurus. What? Zombie. It's oh. probably attracted from the dancing. What do you guys want to do? Uh, that's a dead thing. Um, kill it again? Zombie! It's, uh... Okay, let's roll initiative. Oh, boy. Alright. Man, I'm rolling good today. The same. Once her face it. can't control her faculties, so she can't. All she can do is dance like a monkey. Ugh. Right, so this was a mistake. I, I just mentioned the the Johnny Bravo do the monkey. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What did Zeb get? I got nineteen. What did Rain get? A Twelve. What about Pleadle? Twenty-one. Ooh. Oh, 20 wow. 20. Don't worry, guys. If history repeats itself, they'll eat me first. <laughs> Fleetle, you get to go first. It's 30 feet okay. away. Mm, let's see. Uh, 20 feet away. Getting okay. closer. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you want to do, Fleetle? It's huge. Woo. It takes up a lot of squares. Oh, it's huge. All right. Then I'm going to cast a large on myself first. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> okay. Is that it for Pleadle? Um, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna like stay out of range as best I can of like its tail or anything, and I'm gonna try and loop around behind it. Okay. Well, enlarged. Yeah. Okay. After <laughs> Pleadle is Zebedee. Hmm. You know what? I think we need to spice things up a little bit. Such a pregnant and, and... pause. <laughs> I have so many Something tricks. Something big better be up. happening right now. <laughs> There's so many tricks I could do. I mean, it's just hard to choose one. It's true. Okay. But I, I cast drag. I cast dragon breath, and I use oh. fire mm -hmm. on him. So on the I, zombie. I save. And he gets a. Dexterity saving throw, DC 14. He's a minus one. Oh my. He rolled a three. Minus one. He failed it. Okay. So, boom. You scorch him with fire. Zombie dinosaur shrieks or groans. Takes 15 fire. Ouch. Okay. He did some serious damage. He's not bloody, but he, he took a lot of damage. Okay, is that it for Zeb? Mm-hmm. All right, after Zeb is Rain. Oh, good. Um, So for my first action, I'm going to move 30 feet away from him, mm -hmm. and, I, and I cast Mage Armor on myself. Hmm. Okay. First action. Um, what you, Salida, Pleadle, do you, do you want her to attack, or do you want her to hang back? Hmm. Because she can do melee. But she might get mm -hmm. mopped with the tail. Yeah, she should probably stay away if she can. Alright, she'll <sighs> guard rain, I guess. Don't worry, you'll have an opening soon enough. Just just give me a sec. Alright. She's still dancing, right? Oh, that's yeah. right, I forgot. <laughs> so she's dancing over to rain. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, I hate this so much. I'm a bit put off by it, too. <laughs> okay, who's the, the zombie going to attack? It's either going to be Pleadle or Zeb. I will roll this d6. One through three, Zeb. It is Zeb. No! Uh -oh. Clonk, 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 clonk. Big tail. Plus six. 
Zebediah, don't die. We don't have Winrow to heal you. Better charge <laughs> it up. Full of positive energy. <laughs> Oh, Here we go. Positive for who? Two. I missed. So, oh, eight total. That misses, right? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So, bam! It hits the ground like the mud goes flying because it's raining. All right. Then it's Pleadle's turn. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna walk up behind it. Yeah. I'm gonna. You know how it has like the knob at the end of its tail? Yeah. I'm gonna grab right in front of that on its tail, uh -huh. and I'm gonna try and lift it and smack it into the dancing monkey fruit tree. Ooh. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, good. <laughs> okay. Uh, do I just do like a strength check for that? We can do an opposed strength. Okay. I have advantage, by the way, because I'm enlarged. I have plus so. four. Oh, well, no problem. <laughs> Total of 20. Uh oh. <laughs> that problem. Might be, that might be a problem. Uh, yeah, that's a, so that's a, thir you grab that's a 13. <laughs> okay, so you grabbed his tail. And you try to, okay, but he he's so you're locked in a power okay. struggle. Oh, On his turn, maybe he'll try to like flunk you. All right, that was Pluto's turn. Zeb okay. Dyer. It's it's like it's got reach, so it's not adjacent to you. Just so you know. <gasps> okay. Um. What, what was the ruling with, like, a spell that is an action, and then you can do a cantrip or something? Uh, well, if you do a spell that's a bonus action, then you can do a cantrip. Okay. I, I just wanted to make sure. But um, I'm going to continue concentrating on Dragon's Breath, and I do it again. All right, so I save, right? Mm-hmm. And I make it dex save? Yep. I roll a 19, minus 1 is 18. Wow. Okay, so he takes half of this on oh. fire. Uh, three fire. Okay. Is that it for Zeb? Mm-hmm. Rain. Okay. It's actually Rain's gonna... raining right now. Yep. <laughs> you know, I am going to uh, move so that I'm in line with this big undead creature, mm -hmm. but not in line with any of my friends, mm -hmm. if I can. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to try something new that I just learned and see how bad it goes. So mm -hmm. I'm going to do my lightning bolt. Oh. Uh, so it needs to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. I have a minus one. All right. 12 minus one is 11. Oh, it will fail. Uh, so what's that? 8D. Six. 86. Wow. Yeah. All right. So, 24 points of lightning damage. As you just see Rain kind of point her fingers and send a lightning bolt across. Watch out! How much was it? 20 what? 24. 34. 42. Okay, like, your lightning hits it, and it's smoking, and uh, big holes in it, and it's like, bloodied. <clears throat> oh. oh, and so Pleto, you're holding it, and the electricity yeah. kind of gives you a little <laughs> bit of a jolt. Okay. Sorry! Uh, that smells wonderful. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now it's my turn. Alright, so Pleto... It's, you're mm -hmm. holding onto its tail. It's gonna try to like, like, fling you into a tree and like. Psh, psh, oh. It's trying to reverse my own move on me. Yeah. So we're gonna do another strength proposed. All oh, right. This oh, guy's oh. had some training. I got another thirteen. I got a twenty-three. <laughs> Damn. Damn. So you're gonna take a total of eighteen bludgeoning. And make okay. a strength saving throw. Oh, okay. Oh. I get good on that. That was a 20. Okay. So, bam! He knocks you in your tree, but you, you don't fall prone. You land on your okay. feet, and a whole bunch of like those blue fruits come. Doing no damage. Alright. Um, it's it's smoking, and this electricity still kind of coursing through it, and it's Pleadle's turn. It is mm -hmm. hurt. Okay. 
I... Hmm. I am going to... Oh, boy. Uh, I'm going to get up, take my trident. Actually, I'm going to try and, like, uh, shoulder ram it and try and knock it onto its back. Okay. So that, like, so like the armored part is on the ground. <laughs> I rolled a, a post strength. I rolled a total of 15. Ah, I got a 16. Oh, okay. So you got him. Him, 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 him. So you tip him over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is that it for uh, Pleto? Uh huh. Zeb. <laughs> he's uh. He's he's disadvantaged right now. He's prone and he doesn't he's he doesn't look like he can get up. So, <laughs> what do you want to do? Um, in the, in the hole that was made, like a little charred hole, uh, I try to focus my breath into there, and I do another breath. Okay. Does he just fail his save because he's uh, prone? Think, or well, I have disadvantage. Let me just see what I get there. Yeah, I failed. Oh, I definitely failed. <laughs> okay. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, fourteen fire. Is he still alive? Fifty. He is just barely. Mm. Is that it for Zeb? Um. Yeah. Rain. All right. So I'm gonna try something else new that I've learned recently. So as a promise to buyer, I said I would try to do things other than fire. So lightning, and now. I cast Snylock Snowball Swarm <laughs> at the dinosaur zombie using my sculpt spells to keep Pleetoplop out of da danger. So it needs to make a dexterity saving throw as snowballs erupt on top of it and start bashing onto it. I, I failed. <laughs> yes. All right. So right. take three D6 points. <laughs> eight points of snowball bludgeoning damage. Uh... He's it's counts full damage. He's a zombie, so he's got the special roll. Uh, <laughs> dropped him, but let's see if he can uh, zombie up. Okay, five plus eight, so it's a thirteen. I rolled a natural one. He's killed by snowballs. Yes, I, I in the jungle. How. how does that? I don't know how that happens. Uh, I aim to confuse. It's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a bunch of little kids like, <laughs> and, you know, guys like and falls to the ground dead like oh what have we done you know I look around in surprise and say I can't believe that worked <laughs> yep, with snowballs neither can I honestly good job that looks like, like a really fun spell um, it really did yeah the montage continues you travel for oh. more days it's hot and sweaty the dancing wore off after one minute Oh, wow! That could have been really bad, you guys. <laughs> um, can I can I say I like hoarded all the ones that fell out of the tree? Sure. Ooh. Okay. Um, it's like three p.m. You see mm. ruins up ahead. What do you do? Yeah. You hear a lot of bird noises. Ruins could mean treasure. Oh, I like treasure. They so could also. I. They could also mean traps. I don't like traps. I mean. We've proven that we can get through traps. The people with us, maybe not so much, but we can. I look at your girlfriend. <laughs> She's she'll, be, she'll be fine. She'll be fine, I swear. She hasn't spoken much since the dancing monkey incident. Pat her on the shoulder. It was okay. We, we won't talk about it. <laughs> All right. I mean, I'm game to investigate. You know, find a safe spot for Winra and... As long as we're careful, we should be fine. As long as we're careful. I might feel better if we had a dinosaur to ride in just in case, but I mean, that's fine. <laughs> I think Perfectly we okay. sacrificed enough temporary friends for now. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah. Um, the ruin, it, it was once like a chapel kind of thing, but part of the roof collapsed and some of those side walls have holes in them and mm. vines have grown inside and trees have kind of grown in a little bit and all around the area there's hundreds of scarlet macaws Ooh. and a red parrot 
type birds. Mm. And there's like a shaft of light, the sunlight going right down in this whole area. And inside from where you are, you can see that there is an altar and behind it a 15 foot tall statue. Ooh. Hard to make out the details because it's so bright. Mm. The golden light with all the dust motes floating in the air. And the birds making a cacophony of scarlet macaw noises, which we all know. Oh, yes. Well, that sounds mm-hmm. like. <laughs> is, there, is there any, like, very unique loud noise we're all sick of, right? <laughs> Are there any, um, like, carvings in the walls or anything? Yeah. Mazes and dinosaurs. Ooh. Hmm. Uh, uh, the main symbol is a circular maze. Hmm. While we're being inquisitive, I just cast mage armor on myself just to be careful because it's likely something bad's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm just, that's, I believe it constantly now. Is anybody going in? Uh, I think we should move forward, but I think we should try to be quiet. Who's, um, who's going first? <laughs> Fleetle Flop, upon seeing these parrots, is instantly like, ooh, pirate birds, and <laughs> walks in towards them to try oh, and, like, make fun of them. Oh, wait! <laughs> You're ready, huh? Okay. Um, when you walk in, all the birds stop making noise. And one golden and white parrot, the, the statue is of a 15-foot-tall humanoid who has, like, a... He's like a dinosaur man, and he's kind of got, like, a Tyrannosaurus Rex head, but he's got the Triceratops horns mm-hmm. and stuff That's pretty awesome. and his hands are out like this and the bird lands in his hands and it looks at you um wisely <laughs> and like tinkles of light hello i'm cleto plop you want to be a friend <laughs> um it actually says something to you excellent tells you that um oh wait it says <laughs> it's, it's it, it says it, trace the maze and explore the maze the, the, the maze of your <laughs> lives and like the altar glows a little bit and etched in the top of it isn't one of those circular mazes then he flies out the rooftop and all the scarlet macaws start acting normal again. Interesting. Macaw behaviors. Yeah. Red, red feathers okay. everywhere. I guess. <laughs> what do y'all mm. want to do? What's I'll this about a maze? Hmm. I'll head over to the altar if I can. There is indeed an indentation of a giant maze. Mm. Like if you poured liquid on it, it would run through the channels if you ran your finger through it. It would smoothly, you know, that kind of thing. Hmm. I'm curious. Can I, using um, a, pa- a pa- piece of parchment that I have in my bag, um, can I like try to etch, yep. like lay it over and like etch the maze on a piece of parchment? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I do one of those rubbings okay. quickly. Yep, you get a. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One parchment maze rubbing. You do anything else in here? Um. I try using my finger. Like, does it, is it obvious where like the maze starts or where it ends? It's pretty easy to solve. Okay. Um. I try tracing it with my finger the path to get out. Okay. So. You're all engulfed in white light, and suddenly you're somewhere else. Oh. Oh, you, this is terrible. <clears throat> you, sorry. Okay. Waves of heat blast out of this cramped cell. The walls are scribed with relief carvings showing volcanoes setting cities ablaze. Rows of tiny holes are bored into the floor and the ten-foot-high ceiling. A human skeleton embedded in the opposite wall holds an iron sconce with a burning red candle in it. Everybody roll an initiative. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. It's just you three there. Oh, boy. Oh, shoot. The T is not there. <gasps> Zeb, what'd you get? That's a shame. I got three. 
Oh. What did Rain get? I got a 22. That's good. And what did Pleadle get? Uh, 17. I might have killed us. Okay. <laughs> so, Rain, you're in a, Hi. you guys are all in this cramped cell. It's 10 by 10, so there's really only one square that's unoccupied. Okay. So you see a uh, human skeleton embedded in the opposite wall, holding an iron sconce with a burning red candle in it. And there's the walls are scribed with carvings of volcanoes, setting cities a ablaze. And there's rows of tiny holes bored into the floor and the ceiling. <gasps> Ooh. Hmm. Uh, it's like there are a, an obvious exit, or there's it's walls and no obvious you way don't out. See any exit? <sighs> this is not good. All right. Uh, uh, can I investigate the skeleton and see if I maybe notice a way? to trigger something, hopefully not something that kills us from the floor and ceiling. Looking at the skeleton... I got um, investigation. I can roll. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. I'm scared. Alright, I got a 23 for investigation. Ooh, okay. Wow. So, it looks like this candle is burning, but the it's not going down at all. It's like mm. a magic candle that Ooh. never actually burns out. Hmm. I'm, I'm gonna try to take it from the skeleton. Okay. So you just grab it with your hand? <laughs> yes. Okay. So, when you grab it, molten lava begins pouring from the tiny holes in the ceiling. Uh, it rains down and magically drains away through the holes in the floor. Each person in the cell make a dexterity saving throw. I am so sorry! <laughs> What'd you get, Pleto? Oh, I, got a, I got a nat one. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, good. Oh, what about Rain? I got a 17. What does that get? I got a 13. You all failed. Oh, no. Guys, this is why I don't touch things! Oh, God! You each take 22 fire damage. <gasps> Okay. Uh, Almost okay. dead. And when you start your turn here, you must repeat the saving throw. Oh, we're so gonna die, you guys! So, I'm... after a rain is pleadle, repeat the saving throw, please. Oh, oh my... We're done. I got a 14, but that fails. You got a 22? Oh, no, I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead? down. Yeah. Okay, so he's down. Alright, and then, uh, Zeb? I, I, we have to make the saving throw first before we can do anything. Okay. Sorry, guys. 15, which oh. fails. So you take 22. Oh, I'm done. Dead. I'm dead, dead. All right, that's okay. Rain, dexterity save. Oh, down. I'm so down. So, so what happens is, Rain, as you as you die, you all of you, there's a flash of white light, and you're all lying in the temple again, oh. and you're, you haven't taken any damage at all. <laughs> and in a, a vo like an echoing voice says like gain wisdom wisdom <laughs> do do wisdom. better next time <laughs> <laughs> the the maze of your lives contains great danger okay lava okay, that was terrible <laughs> Okay. I'm never I'm never going to a fish fry again. Oh. Don't ever pick up candles that are already lit, all right? <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, Byer told me not to play with fire. I I should I'm sorry. Oh. Or lava, evidently. Uh, Ready to continue so... the montage? Um, I wanted to see if I, Pluto Plop can make an animal handling check on the, one of the parrots <laughs> oh. before we go. Yeah. And I I was wondering if my my pirate backgroundy stuff might give me like advantage sure, on that yeah. mm -hmm. okay oh man a parrot companion that's perfect not bad okay that's a 17. oh okay yeah so one of them lands on your shoulder nice uh i go outside to salita and i sort of take it on my finger and like go and put your finger out come on She's like, <laughs> can i can i eat it <laughs> I mean, you probably shouldn't, but 
If you wanted, I guess. She's just gonna uh. take it. Alright. Oh no. Alright. <laughs> she grabs his head. Ready? Pleedle! Oh. <laughs> gonna, she's about to break the neck. Hey, if she wants to eat it, I, you know, right. different oh. strokes for different folks. She starts. Uh. Like, bleh. I tuck the Al Mirage slippers deeper in a little pouch <laughs> and cover with a flap. <laughs> okay. Ready to continue the montage? Sometimes that's just how nature goes. <laughs> sure. Yeah. After about a week in the sweaty oh jungle, you come to a shore, and there is a, a lone fisherman with a little fisherman's boat. Oh. He says, we ain't get many visitors around here. Mm. Don't suppose y'all are going to the snout of Amgar. Hmm? We are, actually. Well, you guys want a ride? Only gonna cost you a silver. Oh. Peace. <laughs> I mean, that's acceptable. Sure. Get in. That's a, that's a fair price. Let's go. Uh, um, you gonna go just... to Ahoy Hoy? Ahoy Hoy? Just... Yeah. <laughs> Fort Ahoy Hoy. Bunch of nice folk in there. I, I'd like to insight check the nice the guy I'm talking about nice folk. Sure. All right. Um, oh, I got a twelve. He seems like he's telling the truth. Okay. And he does not seem duplicitous. All right. You, you can always trust sailing folk. If there's anything I've learned from being a pirate, it's that. You guys going to Fort Ahoy Hoy? Yep. Let's All right, it. let's go. They got some good stuff in the marketplace. I hope you brought your sack full of money. Mm -hmm. I got a sack of uh, blue oranges. <laughs> Let me tell you, if I hear that gong ring four times, I ain't giving you a ride back. What's that mean? <laughs> What's that mean? Yeah. Well, you see, folks. Um. <clears throat> They have a system there. Uh, if they ring the gong one time, that means there's new visitors. If they ring it four times, that means they're under attack. All right? I don't want to hear. So it's better just be one gong. And there's I'm other a... ones. I think the three gongs is when they have a party or something like that. Oh. Uh, under attack from what? Uh, well, this yeah. jungle's dangerous. There's undead. There's dinosaurs. I don't know if you've we've seen met them. one of both. Yeah, we've seen one of those. Um, and there's all sorts of just crazy people. <laughs> yeah. Are there? Are there any pirates? There are. There actually are pirates. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, hey, yeah. Cleetle, you might know them. I, I might. They might try to kill me. It depends on who they are, I guess. I could probably oh. tell you about them. Oh, oh. excellent. You want to hear a story about some pirates? <laughs> Sure, I'm I love stories. Always up for that. Oh, okay. <clears throat> you see, folks, there's a bunch of pirates who live in a place called Jahaka Anchorage to the north. And there's three pirate ships. Now, they attack the area around Port Nyanzaru, which is a very nice city full of nice people. They're protected by a dragon turtle. So the pirates can't really go in there. So they just attack ships going to and fro. So there's the Dragon Fang. That's run by a guy named Captain Elok. Uh, then there's the Emerald Eye, run by a guy named Captain Zaroom. Uh, he loves gemstones. And then there's the Sturge, run by Captain Laskalar. He's got a magic cape. Let's him magically... Now he's here. Now he's over there. Now he's behind you. Hmm. I like that cape. You can do a lot of fun things with that cape. You gonna have that a surprise sounds... party? Now I'm having a surprise party. You know what I mean? <laughs> he's flamboyant and rakish. That's it. That's the story. Oh, and they, they live in Jahaka Anchorage. And uh, they got a real sleazy bar there. <gasps> My favorite kind. Uh, 
Bosco's Bilge. <laughs> you know, think... after we go to Ahoy Hoy and all that, we should we should pay him a visit. That sounds really fun. <laughs> Better be careful. It's a wretched hive. Oh. Of uh, dirt bags. And scoundrels. Mm. Scum and villainy? Gotcha. <laughs> so nothing like a hoy hoy then? Nope. Oh, we're here! Oh, hey! See you Isn't later. Great? A good story always makes a journey go faster. It sure did. <laughs> we just traveled like two hexes. Alright. <laughs> uh, a multi tiered fort stands at the water's edge, its sturdy stone walls adorned with large tortoise shells. The trail leading to the fort ends at a wooden double door. Two guards stand watch atop the wall east of the gate. They look like overgrown bipedal turtles armed with crossbows. Outside the gate is a beach where a couple of wide-bottomed fishing boats are tethered to piers. The, the fisherman starts to sail away and he says, Whoop, say hi to the turtles for me. Bring them a... I don't have a package for them this time. A turtle package. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Bye, thank the you. The Turtle Package by Chris Perkins. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Out on the DMs Guild right now. Go buy it. <laughs> Only nine ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, the turtles look at you. Hello. There's two guards. Hello. I'm Pleetle Plop, and these are my friends. Hi, Rain. I am the great Zebediah, and he used uh, prestidigitation to cause fireworks to come out of my sleeves. <laughs> Zebediah! Selita kind of rolls her eyes and stands in the back and goes, Selita. I'm like, welcome to Fort Ahoy Hoy. Thank you. you Ahoy! Look, you look nice. Come on in. And they open the <laughs> Very slowly. <laughs> All right, so uh, Fort Ahoy Hoy. There's uh, uh, what do we got here? There's about a total of maybe you see maybe twenty or thirty turtles spread throughout. It's a very small community with about nine buildings or areas of consequence. And um, there's the south gate. There's another gate and a courtyard. And in the courtyard, you can see some animals being kept. There's a wide open area with a lot of woven mats, uh, shady awnings, and cooking fires. There's an area where they do fishing. There's an amphitheater where they apparently do performances of some kind. Mm. Uh, you see some gardle, turtles guarding some uh, turtle eggs. You see the giant gong that's made of bronze and is wrapped in lizard hide. Uh, there is a smithy. And there is a market. Hmm. That's where most of the activity is, in the market. They all see that there's people coming, so they're all running over to their stalls and getting ready. Ooh, do we have anything we want to do business about now? A market? Oh, thank goodness. Ah, all we've seen is trees and vines and other terrible things. Ah. <laughs> it is nice to be back in a town. It is. And one that maybe they won't blow us up. And Hopefully. so close to the ocean. It's a really lovely place. Win-win. So, uh, where, what do you want to check out? Uh, I asked Salita if she wants to see anything. She says, market. Okay. Excellent. Oh, let's go. All right, all the turtles in their stalls slowly, you know, hawk their wares. Hey, you. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what they got. Hi. Hey. Um, one dude's got some bushels of red blood hawk feathers. They're pretty mm. cool. Uh, a lady's got baskets with, you can get four poisonous snakes or four scorpions. Would you like a snake or a scorpion? And then there's, uh, baskets, uh, full of two pounds of ornamental shells or coral. Hmm. There's a 70 hmm. pound barrel containing 80 pounds of coconuts. <laughs> I hope you like coconuts. Because here at the Coconut Depot, we're crazy about coconuts. We sell Ooh, them coconuts. by the barrel full. <laughs> Are you, could you say that you're coconuts about coconuts? <laughs> 
We're writing that down. <laughs> uh, is a fine found wooden cage holding a trained flying snake. Oh, these are often used for delivering messages to and fro. Interesting. Uh, a lady goes, who doesn't want an egg? A pteranodon egg. Ooh. It's your baby. It's your friend. You ride around and fly it. Don't fall off. <laughs> Very convincing speech. Oh, boy. Don't go too high. Will not be enough oxygen to support your life. <laughs> we have a total of four of these eggs. Ooh, man. We murdered hmm. their mother. <laughs> oh, no! It's all right. She well, wouldn't do anything with them anyway. <laughs> she Yes. Maybe she was very neglectful. Aww. That's right. Dead people. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, uh, this, this diamond, behold, oh, behold, this diamond, it is worth 500 gold. We will sell it to you <laughs> for 500 gold. Oh. Uh, this I guy's don't have got that much. Shiny giant flail snail shell fragments. And uh, a guy's got a pouch containing 10 pearls. Only a thousand gold. And one guy's got an intact flail snail shell. Hmm. 5,000 gold. A little out of my price range, Pleadle. Wow. Out of mine, too, unfortunately. <laughs> well, it's on sale right. today for 4,999 gold. <laughs> what a steal. They seem like and, nice people. <laughs> and 99 <laughs> copper. <laughs> Oh boy. Hmm. Oh man. Those pteranodon eggs and the flying snake are really tempting. I know. Pteranodon Ow. egg is 25 gold each. <gasps> That's oh. it? The oh flying my God. snake is 10 gold. <gasps> and the flying snakes, they have I one. Only one. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. I... Phil Plus isn't going on a shopping spree. <laughs> Oh, Do these uh, flail snails have flails? They sound mm. interesting. No, just the shell. Look how shiny they are. Yeah, it's like very shiny. Them. I like it. Um, can I do an arcana check to see what sort of stuff can be done with the flail snail shell? Nothing. Nothing. Why don't they just look cool? <laughs> That's true. I mean, they're probably <laughs> good components for certain spells, but hmm. okay. Hmm. I'm really thinking about getting one of these eggs, but I don't know how good I am at raising something from an egg. I'm better with things like my Almirage, because if he dies, I can just summon a new one. I think if I kill the thing in the egg, it's just gone. Well, As long as you keep you the could... egg warm, it should be fine until it hatches. You could hide it under the corpse of your friend there in the wagon. She's not dead. She's just not feeling good. Oh. Uh, how much will you take for the corpse? <laughs> No, please don't know. I'm joking. I'm they joking. poke it with a stick. <laughs> well, what did she die from? Be careful. She turns into a wolf. She could eat you. Mm. You ever seen a wolf before? Little turtle man? They're pretty scary. Have I ever seen a wolf before? Not a little wolf either. A yes. big wolf. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, oh well. Wow. All right. I've seen three. Then you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. I would give you an example, but I myself do not turn into a wolf. Watch what I can do. He's okay. a turtle guy, right? Yeah. He suddenly retracts into his shell. And he's like, if someone, if someone attacks me, they can't hurt me. He has plus four to his AC. That would be so convenient yeah. on so many levels. <laughs> We've survived can I, many. Can I get one of those? <laughs> <laughs> no. Why not? You had some all around the walls. Hey, hey now, now, now think about it. Uh, think about it. That's like you asking them to sell their skin to you. It's quite rude. Uh, I mean, is it though? I don't know. Can I have your spine. <laughs> I don't always sure. use it, so I mean, it's possible. I tend to run away from things. <laughs> we only rang one gong. Please don't make us ring a few more times. Oh, okay. Um. 
<laughs> We're just joking. Don't worry about it. <laughs> well, you, you said something about shells and coral, right? Um, a two-pound basket of ornamental shells or coral. It's two gold. Okay. Um, how much uh, would this necklace fare? And I show him a silver necklace worth 25. I don't remember where we got it, but I wrote it down. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay, yeah. So do you want to sell that to them to convert it to gold, or do you want to trade something for it? Yeah. Uh. Uh, sell it, and then some of that money to buy that basket, I guess. All right. Um, there's a there's a, a turtle in robes who's been kind of scoping you guys out. He saunters over. Hmm. I will buy that uh, necklace, friend. The Excellent. Name, my name is Mudgraw. Hello. Mudgraw, you say? Mm-hmm. Are you a druid? Yes. Yes, I am. You are. I look over at the rest of the party. You are just the man we were looking for. He, he gives you the 25 gold. You give him the necklace? Mm-hmm. All right, well, what can Mudgraw do for you? Um, guys, why do we need to find him again? He can help us. I seriously don't know. I actually forgot. <laughs> I, think, I think it was to find Omu. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yes, we need a guide for Omu. He looks off in the distance and says, Ah, uh, well, I do not know where Omu is, but I know someone who does. Oh. Her name is Mildred Urchinspine. A most unpleasant lady. She lurks among the shipwrecks of uh. High Horn. Hmm. And where's that? High Horn is to the north, about a day. Okay. Um, there are a number of wrecked ships there. As she may live in one of them. Um, people don't go there much because there is a monster in the water. Yeah, that's fair. It has two um, heads. Oh, wait, oh. what? It has two of heads. Of course it does. Of course it does. It has two? Is, is it the lizard? Uh, no one has really lived to say much except that it has two heads. Oh, hmm. oh no. I don't like this one bit. Let's see. Is there anything... Um... Yeah, I think I told you everything about that. Mildred Urch's spine. Okay. I'm gonna she, excuse myself for a minute from the conversation. Be like, wait on one second. I I don't want to forget something. How, <laughs> and I go back and ask the guy how much one of those eggs was again. Twenty five gold. I hold up the ring with the ruby that I believe is worth thirty gold pieces and ask him if he'll trade me for an egg. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I give him my ring, right. and I take an egg, and I come running back over with the egg kind of wrapped up. And say, I, I mean, I didn't want to forget. I figure either I get a really great new creature, or at least we can eat something if we're hungry in the woods. <laughs> um, Mudraw okay. shakes his head. No. No what? Be nice to the baby. I'm going to try my best. I'm just very bad at these things. Okay. Hopefully my friend gets better and she can help me. She's much better with nature and things like that. Uh, so, do you guys want to do anything else in uh, Fort Ahoy Hoy, or do you want to head out to High Horn? I wanted to buy uh, the flying snake. Okay, it's Ooh. ten gold. Yep. Okay. And it can <laughs> um, it can send okay. messages to people and stuff. You can right. scroll in its tail, and it flies it over to him, and it'll fly back. Oh, nice. Ouch. Okay. So it responds to certain commands, basically. All right. <clears throat> and Salida has the innate ability to talk to it, so you can make it do all sorts of cool stuff. Exactly. Yeah. I actually, um, I sort of distract her while I'm buying it. Like, oh, look over there at that! And I'm like, okay. Da -da, take that. And I like, hide it behind my back. Uh -huh. and I go over to her, and I'm like, oh, Salida? <laughs> yeah. 
I have something for you. But, uh... It's like, and I think it's awesome. I knew you'd like it. <laughs> like, you know. <laughs> Excellent. She loves that thing. <laughs> I go back. Oh, sorry. I go back to the, the person I brought the egg from, and I'm like, um, I forgot to ask. Are there specific instructions for this thing? Yes. No. Maybe. Know, just... There's not a manual for raising pteranodons. Well, he can give you some general pointers. You know how to keep it from dying. You know, just keep I take it out warm. my notebook and write. He, gives, he tells you the things they eat. You know, which is pretty much anything. Yeah, and yeah. they they you know how yeah it tells you the basics about yeah the pteranodon. I think Winter is gonna love this when she wakes up. So you got one. <laughs> I bought one egg, yeah. Right. I can only afford one. All right. Anybody else getting anything, or are you ready to go to High Horn? Um, what what else what else was in Ahoy Hoy? Um, That's right. Something about a um, there's a smith, and then there was a theater. Yeah, there's a another gate and a courtyard where there's uh, animals. Uh, there's an area where there's woven mats and awnings. There's a fishing space. There's an amphitheater. There's mm. an egg hatchery. Ooh. Tortle egg hatchery. Uh. Uh, the gong. And the smithy. And the market. Maybe maybe we should head to the hatchery, because even though turtles are different from dinosaurs, maybe they'll have some pointers for you. Oh, good uh, idea. True. Okay, you're going to go to the hatchery? Two large sand-filled areas set aside as turtle hatcheries. Ropes are strung across these areas from the tops of the walls, forming nets that prevent pteranodons and similar flying predators from stealing the eggs. <laughs> so there's a couple elderly turtles watching over them. Hey there. No. These are these are the young turtles eggs. Mm. How how big are the eggs? Since turtles are like human size, right? Yeah, I guess they're pretty, you know, pretty big. Okay. Like a human baby. Oh, like wow. a mean omelet. I slap Pleetle on the arm. <laughs> Pleetle. What was that? I can't hear that well. <laughs> yeah, that's our eggs. Well, they, they sure are. Oh, you want to know about pteranodons and stuff, ready? Blah, yeah. blah, blah, pteranodon information. There you Thank go. Thank you so much. Now you know all the basic stuff things. Mm. Very see, insightful. See you later. I feel like we're being I got a lot to do. He turns around and just <laughs> stares off into space. <laughs> all right, guys. Take, so. Taking care of babies. He looks to see if you're work. still there and you're still there. No. <laughs> All right, maybe maybe we should head out. I don't think there's much else here. <laughs> okay, right, the fishing thanks. spot. <laughs> nudge, nudge. <laughs> I know, Zeb. Are you giving up a, a little bit of chance to fish before we go? Wait, there's a fishing spot. Yeah. Yeah, it's over there. I immediately run over there. Oh, oops, <laughs> Pleto. Maybe we should have been quiet. <laughs> fishing, oh, well. fishing gear and other supplies are stored here in crates and barrels. Extending out from the walls are several long wooden rods that turtles use to catch fish in the shallows. A polished metal star attached to a wooden post is attached to a wooden post. And there's a couple people fishing. Oh, they're biting, ah, they're that, biting today. Nothing like the smell of the fishing part. Oh, yeah. Well, might as well see what I can get here. And I uh, cast out my reel and I next to those people. Or make a survival. Uh, 18. Dang, you caught a huge fish. Holy! Man. Ah, <laughs> jackpot! That's one of the biggest freaking fish I ever saw anybody catch. That fish is almost bigger than I am. Nah, it's not that big. <laughs> it's like a dinosaur fish, you know. Oh, wow. Oh, jeez. You know those, uh, the one they caught a few years ago? They thought it was extinct. Oh, like a coelacanth? Yeah, I caught one of those. Oh, jeez. It's a dang coelacanth. Wow. Uh, Pleto Pop, I'm sorry, you might find this very uncomfortable, but I grab it by the gills, oh. and I go to take out one of its teeth, and I'm like, these make for good material components for spells. 
your okay. your monkey's trying to get out from under your hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want? Do you want some? Yeah, yeah. I, I let him out All right, to investigate. Flaps over to the fish, which is still alive, right? Yeah. And he, <laughs> I'm, hold, I'm holding it by the gills, though, so it can't. beating it to death, punching it oh, in the shoot. head. Oh, Cackling. <laughs> Pluto, Pluto Pop puts his fingers in his ears so he doesn't have to listen to the screams. <laughs> I cover Pleto Plop's eyes. <laughs> and um, Brains Al Mirage looks out for a moment and just goes, oh, no. Goes back inside. I know, like I know. Tear. I don't know what's wrong with that monkey. Oh. <laughs> All right, it, it beats the fish to death. <laughs> Jesus. Dang. Your little helper <laughs> monkey's got a real violent streak there, buddy. Yeah. Well, sometimes you just gotta let him burn off some energy, you know? Fishing time's <laughs> over. We gotta close the fishing area now, so. <laughs> it's like the middle of the day. See you guys later. <laughs> Didn't you hear the fishing gong? <laughs> There's like a small gong with like a real short turtle. Bong, bong. <laughs> Two bongs means we gotta stop. Oh, well, guys, we have to respect their customs. <laughs> Alright, Murder Monkey. It's your responsibility now. And I give the fish, the big fish, oh, to the no. little flying monkey, and he has to take it with us. You give it to the, the monkey? Uh, yeah. So he's oh like, my God. he's like a cat-sized monkey, right? And then he's got to carry this <laughs> he's big fish. Hold it like a like a club. Like, oh my God! Weapon. Destruction. That's horrifying. <laughs> hey, I heard you guys were going to high horn. You better Eventually get going. That's the plan. It's like we're a whole day's journey. journey. <laughs> Are they gone uh, yet? <laughs> no, what? Who? Us? No, we're still here. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's uh. let's go. Okay. I don't want them to ring four bells. All right. <laughs> now, do you want to go there before it gets dark? Or you want to wait till the next morning? Uh, they said it's about a day's journey. Mm. I guess. I mean. I don't know. I mean, I mean, we we have dinner right here. We might as well cook it here and just wait for morning. <laughs> you hear the whole village go. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I, the little old turtles opening the gate. Uh. Are they really still here. <laughs> Shh, be nice. I mean, din yeah, dinner sounds good. Don't they we have to go first to thing. <laughs> I mean, first thing in the morning would be great. <laughs> Is there an inner tavern? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm kind of sleepy. All they have is that <laughs> wide open area with the mats. They actually sleep out under the stars. Oh. Yeah, we got some nice. mats here. <laughs> well, that sure was a delicious dinner. Good night. <laughs> really good. Good night. And you wake up the next morning. <laughs> <sighs> Sam, Let's I wonder go to the if the fishing again. area is open. <laughs> oh, it, it yeah, usually yeah. opens at the crack of dawn. We should go check. A map. That's when the this best is fish how you are. Get around. To high horn. This, is the quickest, <laughs> this is the quickest route. I, I I like to imagine that in the morning we wake up and our sleeping mats have been casually moved outside the gates, <laughs> and there's a little note that says "high horn" this way. <laughs> <laughs> up Winra. <laughs> As you leave, you are really quietly discussing moving the entire fort. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Maybe we could maybe we could catch another one of those fish for the road. <laughs> ah, never mind. Let's go. Let's go. He just brings the gong right up your face. Just keep back. <laughs> <laughs> Get out! Right. Right, so you're gonna go to Highhorn. Thank you for your help. So, you know, a bunch of hours of walking, you get there at, like, three. There's flavor text for it. Oh. <laughs> okay. See, it's good we didn't leave till the next morning. Here we get here, it's afternoon, we have time to see the sights. Yeah. To get ourselves thrown out of another village. <laughs> <laughs> Just 
Standing Please. atop a rocky crag at the northernmost tip of the island, facing northwest, is a 30-foot-tall stone statue of a turtle-like humanoid with a large stone horn held up to its mouth. Below the monument is a stretch of sandy beach covered with shells. Black, moss-covered rocks jut from the water like teeth worn down by time. Just beyond those teeth are several barnacle-covered shipwrecks. Oh, look, you can make out the names of each one. There's, I believe, six of them. <clears throat> this is, there's one called the Bitch Queen. Oh, my. There's a Carcerius. The Dawn Avenger. The Dirty Dastard. The Sea Mare. And Virago. Virago. Crystal Clear Water. I like crystal clear water. True. No sea monsters sneaking up on you. In this case. Your your egg suddenly starts to roll. <laughs> roll oh. the car. Like when we rolls over, not realizing there's an egg. <laughs> oh my god! I, I run I'm to my, catch my egg. I'm <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Hmm. Six ships. Mm. Underwater, kind of. You know. Oh, okay. So sh the shipwrecks. Wow. Yeah, that's no problem. Thirty, forty feet underwater. Most oh, of them are wow. on their side and they're covered in, you know, sea crud. And they got holes in them. Some of them are split in half. All mm. sorts of ah. tropical schools of tropical fish. Ah. A little bit of kelp here and there. Just like back home. Starfishes doing the starfish thing <laughs> sitting there um doing nothing mudgraw do you know which I'm one not here. has <laughs> oh you oh oh boy okay no way. <laughs> he let oh, us go all by I'm ourselves not going. <laughs> you can't make me <laughs> oh boy <laughs> well, so we're we probably... looking we're looking for mildred hmm Urchin spine. <laughs> yeah. Which one do you think she'd be in? The bitch queen? Uh, uh, they, probably that one. Probably that one. They said she was cantankerous, didn't they? Something mm. like that. Said she wasn't very nice. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm... Hmm. Yeah, let's start with that one. I mean, you can't really go... You know, can't do much worse. Why not? Sure. You're all diving. You gotta we go up from there. You're all diving in. Oh god. Yep. Yeah. You're gonna hold your breath for those that have to. Oh man, I don't know. Yeah. Some of us can breathe underwater. <laughs> I got a trick where I can join you. Um, oh, nice. I don't have that trick. Hmm. <laughs> You have a trick? What do you mean? But I, I can't breathe underwater like these guys. Um, it, what, Zeb has a spell? Uh, I, I yes. Okay. Alright, so you're going to cast that? Alter or? self. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, very nice. Okay, so you cast alter self. Mm-hmm. Okay. And um, all of a sudden, boop, I got gills and I got little webs in between my fingers. <gasps> You've learned well, Zebediah. <laughs> You learned well. <laughs> okay. So you guys are going to dive in? I'm going to attempt to hold my breath. Okay. So you dive in the crystal clear water and you go down to the bottom. And you see the wreckage of a ship. That's the figurehead of it. The top half of her body is a woman. The bottom half is an octopus. And she looks Ooh. really angry. And she has sharp teeth. Ooh, evil looking. And uh, inside, he's going to go inside. I'm going to watch them go in because I only have, I think, uh, I can only stay under for three minutes before I okay. have to resurface. So so you two are going to go in? Mm hmm I guess sure. Salida will go in, too. So you guys want to okay. search the interior with a investigation or perception? Sure. Yeah. Very nice. What'd you get? Uh, 20. What'd you get, Zeb? 
Uh, 13. Okay, please don't. One, it's, it's been down here a long time. Mm. You see a bunch of symbols of, uh, symbols of chaos, an eight-pointed star. And mm -hmm. in one little box, you find a necklace with, uh, like a silver symbol of chaos. It's got some, uh, runes on it. Glows mm. faintly in the right light. Do you touch it or put it on? Or taste it? <laughs> taste, uh, mm, uh. Might taste a little salty in the water. Uh, it's no problem for me. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, outside rain, a massive dark shape is swimming very fast in your direction. Uh, -oh. uh I cast message and say to Pletoplop, something's coming this way, and I try to hide. Does the message have a verbal component? Oh, hell, probably. Let's find out. Uh-oh. Uh, message. Well, I guess I just try to hide and maybe pound on the side of the boat before I do. Okay, oh. make a um, pound on the side of the boat. Uh, they should oh, make oh, oh, oh. a listen check or whatever, right? Perception. Ooh, perception. Yep. Yeah, do that. Do you, want, do you want me to make a stealth check? Yeah. All right. Please, God, be good. That's not terrible. What did Pleetle get? Uh, 12. Uh, what did Zeb get? I got a 9. I didn't hear anything. Oh. <laughs> oh, boy. What did Ring get on her hide check? I got a 16 for stealthiness. Okay. And Salita tries to hide with you, but she has all these, like, flimsy clothes, like, ribbony oh. clothes, and they're just waving all around, and the thing goes whoosh. All right, so let's roll initiative. Oh boy. This is really bad. Okay, uh, uh, Rain, what'd you get? I got a nine. What did Zeb get? Oh, we're rolling even though we're not there? Well, you won't go on the first turn, but once you hear noises, you'll be able to yeah. cycle in. Oh. Okay, uh, 19. Very nice. What did Pleto get? 12. Alright, so Zeb and Pleto are... So Pleto, you, uh, what do you do with that, that symbol thing? Um, can I do an Arcana check on it beforehand? Yeah. <laughs> I don't mess with... Oh, dang. Alright. That's a 21. Okay. Wow. So this thing, nice. um, it has a very minor magical property. You think it's kind of like a portal key. Pla some planar portals Ooh. need a certain thing to activate them. And this seems to be something that would actually activate a portal. Interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so then... Okay, Rain. Hi. It doesn't see you, but it sees what's-her-face. So it is... You know what a plesiosaurus is? Oh! It's got two yeah. heads. And it's huge. And uh, it's coming for Salida. What would you like to do? It doesn't know you're there. You're oh, hiding crap. behind some kind of ship thing. Here's the sad thing is I can't do any magic oh. because of not being able to talk. Um Oh boy. Oh boy. Um I'm going to oh god, I'm gonna die probably. Not not all spells are verbal. Oh, all my spells have verbal component. I just double checked. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Good news. Um, I don't want to leave her, but I mean, <laughs> it's it's big and scary, and I have a stick. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm gonna uh, kind of. I guess I'll hold and wait and see what happens. I'm gonna like, ready my staff to plop it on the head if it gets close. Okay. All right. So that was um, Rain's turn. My turn. Oh. It comes right up to Salida. I told you I don't always use my spine, guys. All right. It has a plus uh, six. It's two attacks. Oh, jeez. Oh, Lord. Hits her once. Hits her twice. <laughs> she takes... Please, the sword's gonna get it. She takes 28 damage. <gasps> Oh, jeez. She's bloodied, but she's still alive. Now, Rain, do you want to attack it, or what? do you want to stay hidden? I'm going to 
I'm gonna attempt to bash it on the back of the head. Ooh, all right. <laughs> Roll to eat. This is gonna be bad. Uh, I get a 15 to hit. Uh, 15 hits. How much damage? I do four points of bludgeoning damage with my staff. Four. What? Okay. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um. All right. So it swam up. It let out a huge double roar. So you guys heard that, and mm -hmm. you know, you might see spreading red clouds of blood. And then it is uh, Zeb's turn. Okay. So I hear the ruckus outside, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> how how far out from outside? Are we? Are we within 30 feet? Oh, yeah. You can just pop right out. Okay, I just, like, dolphin swim out of there. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I see the big two-headed monster, I go, because it can't talk in water. <laughs> and um, I cast Catapult by pulling out my basket of seashells and open it, and one of the shells goes <laughs> right at it. All right. He's got to make a dexterity saving throw. All right, he has uh, plus two. I rolled a natural one. Ah, oh, sweet. 3d8 bludgeoning. 3d8, okay. Uh, 16 bludgeoning, and the shell just... Okay. All right, so it kind of embeds in its hide. It's not bloodied, but it did seem to hurt it. Uh, is that it for Zeb? Mm-hmm. Pleado, your turn. Okay. We'll swim out. Uh, ooh, I am not happy. Both <laughs> heads are biting her. Uh, she looks uh, like she's going to be dead soon. <laughs> if, uh, if something doesn't happen. I am going to swim over there, and I'm going to cast haste on Salida. Hmm. Uh, okay. Yeah. So she has plus two to AC, um, advantage on dexterity saving throws, and she gets an additional action each turn. Okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's, is that it for, uh, Pleto? Oh, so yeah. her turn goes on your turn, so I think she's just gonna, she has an extra action, so she's gonna okay. disengage and okay. just double move. So with all that together, she actually gets out of the water. Good. All right. And she probably lies down on this, the ground and just <laughs> bleeds. All right. Uh, then it's my turn. Ugh. Okay. We let the die choose. Uh, Zeb's kind of far away, right? So probably either rain or pleado. So mm -hmm. rain is a one, two, or a three. Give it a nice twist. It's a pleado. Good. It, it roars and snaps at you with both heads. Mm. Here we go. Oh, no. Plus Plate of up. six. Okay. Total of 20. And uh, 18. <laughs> oh, what does it? <laughs> That's uh, 28 damage. Oh, jeez. Yeah. No problem, no problem. Are you still up? I'm still up, yeah. Okay. Zeb, it's your turn. It's um, chomping down on Pleetle. It looks like it's trying to just kind of grab him and get away, but so far, mm. not yet. Uh, from, from the looks of it, a lot of my spells are also verbal, so I just cast another catapult and go... Alright, I make a save again? Mm-hmm, 14. Plus two. 19. 19, um... Okay, I guess it misses. There's no half damage? No. All right. After Zeb is Pleedle Ploop. Okay. What about me? I don't know. Did I miss you? I, I don't know. It seemed I, like I, I missed my... I think I must have. All right, Possibly. Rain, your turn. I'm torn. Do I hit it in the head again, or do I disengage so it doesn't chew me to death? But Pleedle got hurt, too. <laughs> oh, crap. How's it look? Does it look still really sturdy? Pretty sturdy. <laughs> no, we guys, got this. We got this. You guys can insight that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna disengage and swim uh, away, so I get away thirty feet, I guess. Okay, so you're right near the surface. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, and that was rain. Now we'll go back forward in time to Pleto again. Okay. I have the spell Tidal Wave. <laughs> and I'm wondering if I could use that underwater as like an ocean current type thing instead of an actual wave. Is that in Xanathar's? It is, yes. Right, let's see. Isn't that a Triton specific spell too? It is? I don't believe so, but it's flavor flavor wise it might as well be. Yeah. <laughs> Tidal wave. Okay. Sure, why not? I mean, if you're underwater, right. we'll just say it's like a torrent of water yeah. or whatever, right? Okay. Okay. Excellent. So uh I make a death save. Yes. Whoa. Plus two. Natural 20. Oh. <laughs> Stupid monster. It's alright. Does he take half? He does take half. Alright. So, 4d8. 8. That is... So he takes 7 bludgeoning damage. 7? Okay. That's, that's less than I would have liked. But Alright. Okay. So he's, you know, he hurt. Uh, <laughs> then after Pleadle is rain again. <laughs> okay. So if I can surface but still see it under the water. Yep. Um, I'm going to uh, lightning bolt Ooh. that guy. So it would be a uh, dexterity saving throw. Okay. So you, I pop you have up. that spell thing where if. If your friends I were in the way, sculpt, it would... Yep, I have sculpt spell, so I can, like, okay. make it kind of zoom around them. <laughs> Dex save, right? Uh, dexterity saving throw, yes. I rolled a three! Yay! All right. How much damage? Six. Uh, and... 28 points of lightning Whoa. damage. All right, so you hit it, like, it, electricity goes all through it. You see, like, blood coming out of its mouth, kind of clouding out there. Hmm. Is that it for rain? Um, uh, yep, I just kind of keep an eye on them, but sort of get as close to the shore as I can and still keep it in sight. Okay, so it sees its own blood, and it gets a little panicky. It <laughs> turns and flees. Pleadle, you can get a shot on it. I I think you're right next. I don't know if you're right now. Oh, whatever, if you want, you can. I definitely am. Ooh. Okay. Uh, that's a uh, 18. That hits. Okay. I'm gonna stab him with my trident. Okay. So that's uh, four stab stab damage. Okay. So it can move 40 feet. So it 80 feet, and it's hoping to get past Ooh. a wreck, and then duck under it so you don't have line of sight. So it's running away. Do you guys want to do anything special? Um, I'm going to let it go. On my turn? Yeah. Um, I swim 30 feet. Yeah. And I do another catapult. Okay. Because it, oh. actually, it actually shoots out 90 feet. Oh. <laughs> so, and I, I, I'm going to third level this one. So Ooh. hopefully he doesn't make a save. He did. Ah, 16. He did? Yeah. Frickin' It's the Tomb of Annihilation die. <laughs> mm -hmm. I guess I just snap my fingers and swim back up. Well, it, uh, it doesn't do it. Okay. Um, Alright, so Polito, do you want it? He's 80 feet away. Do you want to do anything else? I glare at him and I say, Don't come back or I will kill you. <laughs> and I swim back up. Mm. Okay. So you guys are going to regroup on the beach? Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so Lita says, that really hurt. <laughs> Understandably. She's got like two big bite marks. Oh man. I, I show her my two big bite marks. <laughs> it's like a shark attack. <laughs> okay, so uh, what's the plan now? There's five more shipwrecks, and so far no sign of Mildred Urchinspire. Mm. Crap. Guys, yeah, so I think the turtles might have led us in the wrong direction. No, they they mentioned about a big two-headed sea creature, so that definitely was that. Oh my god, they did, didn't they? I completely forgot about that thing. 
Yeah. Oh, crap. Hey, at least it wasn't the Lizard King, right? <laughs> I don't know if that makes it much better, honestly. Um, you guys kind of kicked the crap out of him. Turns out plesiosaurs are stronger than <laughs> demon lizards. <laughs> okay, oh, so you're some of you are wounded, you're on the beach. It's very mm -hmm. nice out. Seagulls. Oh, uh, um, we don't. When we're coughing. Uh-huh. If you perfectly if you balanced your... egg. Just <laughs> not moving at all. Mm -hmm. If if you're still able, maybe we should like scout. The other ones, okay. But if there's any any trouble, we should go back. And maybe, maybe Rain, you should stay here. Okay. Salida so says, "Do you think maybe we should rest for a little?" Oh, bit? Oh, we could do that. That's not That's a bad idea. Just for a short while. That may be nice. Like an hour or so. <laughs> I could bandage I'm... my wounds. If that if I'll help. If I can, I'd like to go find like healing herbs, possibly, in the surrounding jungle. Uh -huh. Do, like, a medicine check on Salida. Oh, I do it, yeah. Help her out. Oh, dang. Uh, that's a 19 medicine. Not only did you find medicine, but you also found mint to give it a minty scent. Ooh. Uh, that's an Ed Greenwood classic. <laughs> Most of the time in the Forgotten Realms, like, they give you mint water. So when you have your... Your wine, your canteen. They put some mint in it to give it the minty flavor. Mm. And you can also put it in your boots so your feet don't smell. And he, oh even, wow! He even came up with how you wipe your butt in the Forgotten Realms. There's a scented cloth. He had a name for it, and you just bring that with you. Everybody has one. <laughs> it's like uh, you know, those wet naps. Yeah, it's, wow. it's permanent. <laughs> I assume you all have one of those. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and if it, sure. if it comes to it and you have to assassinate someone real quiet, you could use it like Put a chloroform. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't ever do that. Kill me first. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Tell me what this right. smells like. I had to write yeah. that down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, so you take a short rest? Sure. Mm. Okay, so she right. bandages her wounds and smells like meat. Oh. Uh, and the plan is for Pleetle to just go in alone? Or with Zebediah, who's got gills? Mm. You two are going to go check the boats? Mm-hmm. Okay, so okay. there's five boats. Uh, I'd like to go back into the the other one to get, like, the portal key, if I can. I didn't it? grab it before. I, I assume you took it. Okay. All right, so the Tucked other in my token. Pleetle. A uh, new battle plan. In case we run into anything else threatening, we should immediately go up to the surface. Because I can swim as fast as you, but I can't cast any of my spells but that one. Ah, uh, that's probably a good idea. I sometimes forget other people can't talk underwater like I can. <laughs> Trust me, I wish I could. Um. Alright, so uh, there's the Carcerius, the Dawn Avenger, the Dirty Dastard... The Sea Mare and Virago. Um, hmm. what's the furthest ship from? Like, because I assume they're, you know, not all equal distance. So, like, maybe you guys. The Sea Mare is the furthest. They actually wrote that down. Maybe if you guys start at the furthest, mm -hmm. work your way and back, and then work your way back. Then at least, I mean, how far, like, from from the shore, if I'm standing at the shore, how far is the furthest one from me? Hmm. We'll just say, like, 120 feet. Okay. okay. So, if you guys get into trouble, I can help if you come to the surface and something follows you. I'm cool. here. I do have I do have a little bit of reach on some things that I can do. So if you get into trouble and you're that far away, I can at least be somewhat helpful. So we know I'll be helpful throughout the exploration. I'll just be watching Winra. <laughs> <laughs> and the egg. And the egg, uh, you know. I'm... Sometimes it gets real windy and the egg starts to. <laughs> <laughs> I prop with some rocks around it to hold it in place. You need like a Yoshi. <gasps> Yoshi! Just swallow it. Or does he. Oh, he poops hey. out eggs. Mm -hmm. Boom. 
So he swallows people and poops out eggs, right? That's how it works. Something like that, yeah. You don't want to use Yoshi. If if he swallowed out an egg, would he poop out like a double egg? <laughs> <laughs> how would that work? Uh, okay, so you going in? Sure. You're swimming out to the sea mare. Okay, it looks like it was once a merchant ship. It's got damage on it. And Pleadle, I think you spent time as a pirate? Yep. Pirates. Um, clearly, this was taken down by pirates decades okay. ago. Mm. Uh, looks like they even tried to burn it. Oh, no. So, uh, But it's still somewhat intact, so it might have been burning as it sank. So it put the fire out, and the boat ship is still somewhat intact. Uh, some pirates some pirates have no class whatsoever. You can sell these things. Okay. Uh, it carries no weapons. Oh boy. Alright. <laughs> so you're gonna ex explore the ship? Sure. Uh, there's a flooded hold and a whole bunch of skeletons floating in it. Inert skeletons. Oh okay. the remains of dead sailors. And uh, there's also what looks like a airtight stone sarcophagus carved in the likeness of a demon with folded wings. If you want, you could make an arcana or an arcana I... to identify what the deal is with this. Thing. Can I arcana that one? <laughs> mm. Yeah. Pretty sure we don't want to touch that. Let no, I it. think I think you're right. Uh, 21. Okay. That's uh, Orcus, uh, the uh, demon lord of undeath. Now, in my campaign, he's dead. He, uh, he's dead dead. Uh, <laughs> he was killed, and then he came back as an undead god, and then he was killed again for good when the heroes of my Planescape campaign destroyed the wand of Orcus. So, all that's left of him, he's just a vestige in the uh, Amber Temple now, to mm -hmm. So... But, you know, at one time, he was very popular. So, there's the sarcophagus. And, uh, looks like there's some stuff in here. Hmm. A scroll tube. Sealed. Hmm. Why don't both of y'all make a perception check, also? Excellent. Oh. I got an 11. What did you get, Zebra? Oh, wow. Uh, 23. Oh. Zeb, okay, you're not surprised. Uh, one of the skeletons suddenly springs to action. Let's <laughs> roll initiative. All right. Uh, oh, no. I roll so low. Zeb. I think we all rolled low on that one. Seven. <laughs> Beat me. Pleadle. Four. Oh. <laughs> Zeb. This, uh... Undead entity wearing some regalia linked to Orcus. Mm. Mm, yeah. Uh, he's 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 alive. What do you want to do? Demons. Wait, we we rolled initiative. Wait, did he pump out a sarcophagus, or is he just one of the skeletons? He's one of the room? skeletons. Does he look like he's trying to pull a threat? Like he pulls out a weapon? Or... Mm -hmm. mm. I'm first? Yep, and he wants to kill <laughs> With a seven? <laughs> yeah, I rolled a five, I think. Okay, yeah. okay that <laughs> threw me off, sorry. Uh, I immediately firebolt him. Firebolt. And... Oh, darn it. And... I rolled a 19, so 25. Yep. And now that we're fifth level, my cantrip does more damage. So eight fire. Okay. Is that it? Yep. Alright. He swims at you. He's got a rusty sword. Uh he gets two attacks. Oh no, okay. So he, he swims up to you, right? 
and he like mm-hmm. opens his skull mouth and like purple energy comes at your face and he's trying to suck the life force out of you it's a uh, plus four uh, thir- left. 13 AC yeah that passes okay so make a constitution <laughs> saving throw Oh, one of my strengths as an old elderly man. <laughs> I, apparently, it's one of my strengths. Twenty. Okay. Very nice. So you you just take five necrotic, and for a oh. moment it felt like he was just, you were able to fight off the life force part of it. Basically, you would have lost five hit points off your hit point max. Oh Jesus! But uh, you didn't. Okay. So plead all that round. You were surprised. So now we're back at the regular mode. Zeb, it's your turn. Okay, um, now that he's all in my face, uh, Dragon's Breath. Oh. And that's a DC 14 dexterity. Ooh, 17. Uh, yeah, he made it 17. Okay, this one he does take half. Okay. So, Fire Breath. Uh, it was 8 total. Okay. Okay, uh, then it's his turn. He's going to try to... He'll swing his rusty sword at you two times. Plus four. Fourteen. That hits. Nine. Mm-hmm. That one doesn't. So you take seven points. Okay. All right. And then it's Pleadle's turn. Okay. <clears throat> I am going to cast... Actually, I imagine that Pleadle Plop was just sort of like very kindly maneuvering between the skeletons like oh excuse me excuse me and all of a sudden this dragon breath and stuff goes off behind him he's like oh oh we're under attack all right so he casts mage armor himself his like bubble shield appears around him and he starts swimming towards the skeleton and zebediah okay if i can if i can reach them you can nice you can okay i pull out my trident if i can as well okay all right and then zeb it's your turn Okay. Um, I cast false life on myself. So that makes mm. you look dead, right? Um, it gives me temporary hit oh, points. Oh, okay. Alright. That's it for Zeb? Uh, yeah. Okay. Pleadle, it's gonna try to... Mm. It's gonna try to stab you twice. Okay. Plus four, fourteen. And then six. That will... Nope, neither one will hit. Sling, sling. Gotta cast mage armor. All right, kill him. Plead all your turn. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna give him a... hit points left. Okay. Hmm. I am gonna use uh, my tides of chaos sorcerer ability. Yeah. Um, which gives me advantage on one roll. So uh, I'm gonna use it on a, a melee attack and try and sort of. Uh, I'm actually not going to use my prongs of my trident. I'm going to try and, like, beat him with the butt of it. Okay. Okay. Uh, that was a 15 to hit. Uh, that hits. Okay. Excellent. And that's five bludgeoning damage, I guess. So I'm using the back of it. Okay. Is that it? Yep. All right. Zeb or Dyer? Okay. Um, seeing as I'm going to need more than my fire spells, I lift up my hat and I go, Go get him! And I send my little murder monkey out and he goes to shocking grasp. Okay. So <laughs> you, you rolled a hit for that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, plus six. Uh, 24. You hit? How much damage? Jeez. <laughs> Classic murder monkey, always hitting. Uh, <laughs> And does seven shocking damage. Or lightning damage. Okay. Alright, my turn? Mm hmm. He doesn't. Though this creature doesn't like the murder monkey. So mm-hmm. try to kill the murder monkey. Plus four. Oop, 23. And uh, 12. Does 12 hit the monkey? 12 just. Barely hits the monkey. So the monkey takes 14 points. Oh, <laughs> monkey, no! 
Uh, Gone. Right. Oh. So, like, cuts his head off. Okay. Uh, then it's uh, Pleadle's turn. Please tell me that the murder monkey was, like, a mer monkey murder monkey. So it had, like, fins and stuff. Like, a little tail. Like the Fiji <laughs> mermaid. <laughs> well, I think the hat was airtight. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> airtight hat. That's lovely. <laughs> It, it it says that you send the familiar to its own little pocket plane or whatever. I was just assuming my hat was that pocket plane. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, Get him, Pleto. Ah, uh, oh boy. I am going... I'm going to use Magic Missile on him. I don't know why I didn't think about that first. All right. <laughs> 3D4 oh. plus 3, I think. I also got a Wild Magic Surge on that. A oh, oh, sweet. That might be terrible or not. Uh, that's a 60. Yeah. 60. You regain your lowest level expended spell slot. Yeah. Uh, and he takes uh, 11 damage from the magic missiles. I said all three right out of 11. 30. Okay, he's very, 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 very hurt. Good. Zeth, it's your turn. He's got six hit points left. Um, Kill him. I I, bre I use my breath again, I guess. He dies. Yes. <laughs> He's dead! Bah! Ah. Okay, so you're in this place. Floating skeletons. An Orcus sarcophagus. What do you want to do? It always has to be demons, doesn't it? It always does. I don't oh, like demons at all. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, um, I, don't, I don't think we should mess around with that. I think you're right. I mean, it could have a very powerful undead in there. And considering a skeleton was... Uh, mm. Pretty bad itself, yeah. Maybe... We, we really shouldn't open it, but... <laughs> I, see, we... I see you thinking about it. <laughs> you think we should anyway and run. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know what? Sure, let's do it. <laughs> okay, um, I investigate it first, obviously. Investigation. Okay. For, like, traps. Okay. Let's... What you notice is... It's going to be very hard to open. It's got uh, an arcane lock. Oh. So you'll need to make a super high strength check or cast a knock spell. Oh, I, or I know, just the trick. I, I, I cast knock. Nice. Holy cow. All right. All right. Let's, let's ding dong ditch this undead. <laughs> so you swing it open? At 10 feet away, I cast knock. <laughs> okay. It slowly swings open, and inside is a mummified corpse. Of uh, some kind of wizard type. It, oh, it's wrapped in a black shroud. There's a stoppered bronze scroll tube resting at its feet. And a staff fashioned from a single branch of pale white wood lying beside it. Interesting. Mm. Do you. I, I turn over to Pleadle Plop. Do you know Mage Hand? Oh, I do not know. Darn. I knew I should have wrote that in my book this morning. Hmm. I depending I, I, on how heavy that staff is, I could use shape water to try and pull it over to us. Uh, it's it's worth a shot. I got I got temporary buffiness, I guess. Full full slide. Okay. So if if something smacks us, maybe smack me first. <laughs> okay. So you use shape water. Yeah. Okay. This you have no problem doing that. You gonna get the scroll tube too? Yeah, I might as well. I'm okay. gonna do it. So uh the staff. The top of the staff is shaped like a demon's claw. And uh the scroll tube is airtight and it seems like there's a parchment inside. Hmm. I give that to Zebediah. Okay. Okay. And can I do an Archon check on the staff? 
it radiates uh, conjuration magic. Interesting. Okay. And it can be used as an arcane focus. Hmm. Hmm. Demon claw, though. Yeah, I, I don't like that either. <laughs> I don't like that one, but... That's all that's in this ship. Uh, what do you want to do now? Let's go to the next one. Uh, let's let's head back to shore. I want to see what's in this scroll first. Okay. Okay. So you, you guys go to the shore. Rain, you see them come out. One's got a weird staff <gasps> on one hand. Ooh. The other's got a bronze Ooh. scroll tube. I think they're wounded a uh -oh. little bit. A little bit. Oh, no. Uh, oh, I go to yell and then I think about it and I'm like, wait. I point at uh, Zebediah and I cast message and, and think, everything okay? <laughs> and uh, I reply back, yeah, just a skeleton smacked me a few times and tried to steal my life, you know? No big deal. <laughs> I just nod and wave. Average Saturday for Zebediah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to open the scroll tube? Yep. Uh, you're going to check it for... Give it a look-see first. Yeah. Um, Salida says, it's not trapped at all. Oh, uh, there's a dry sheet of parchment uh, with words written in abyssal. Oh, boy. Abyssal. What's that say? Uh, something in demon gibberish. I move away from it when he says demon gibberish. Yeah, there was a there was a sarcophagus to Orcus over there, and um, and you left it alone. Uh, no, that's where we found this stuff. Uh, what? <laughs> Did, <laughs> I I mean maybe it was just me. I remember like a room with lava, and I touched something, and things went bad. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Hey, it, it wasn't a vampire, or if it was, it didn't come out and say hi, so I That's think it's true. fine. Uh, we're, in, we're an accident waiting to happen. I'm going to go sit with over here and don't please don't <laughs> blow up or incinerate or combust or anything. Continue. Oh my okay. goodness. Okay, you need to check the other ships? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so there's the Carcerius, the Dawn Avenger, the Dirty Dastard, and the Virago. Hmm. Let's go to the dirty dastard. Dirty, that's exactly what I was thinking. All right, let's go. Do we do we high five with our fin hands? Yeah. As you swim <laughs> towards it, you see the exterior is covered in barnacles and snails. Mm -hmm. You're gonna go through a hole in the side to explore the interior. Sure. And I also pluck a snail off the the side of the ship and eat it while we're going in. I, I pluck a few. They make good soup. Oh, oh. gosh, gross. All right. Um, <laughs> Inside, you see there's a central area. It's got it's like sandy because it's actually you know the ship's all messed up. So that's the yeah. sea bottom, and there's a kind of like a lot of tall seaweed. So it's kind of hard to see the whole area, uh, and you see a whole bunch of uh, half-eaten fish floating around. Oh, does this remind you of the kelp forests back home? And among it, you see stuff. The bad ones, anyway. On the ground, there's a comb made of what looks like whalebone. And mm. a stuffed parrot with a gemstone in it floating around. Hmm. What do y'all want to do? I, I'd like oh. to grab the parrot. <laughs> How old do these half-eaten fish look? Do they look like they were half-eaten recently? Oh, yeah. Like an hour ago. Good thing we took that rest. <laughs> this, uh, um, do they look like they're like big bites, like from a certain dinosaur with two heads? <laughs> Smaller. Suddenly, the kelp parts. A hideous green lady with seaweed hair, like, looks at you with her giant bug eyes and like opens her mouth and like black goo like comes out and floats, and Ooh. she's so hideous that you must immediately make, uh. Nothing. <laughs> Roll initiative! Oh, that's not really nice. Wow, 19. The 20! Oh, I got an 18. Zeb got an 18. And what did... Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Polito got an 18. What did Zeb get? A 19. Oh, my God. 
We all rolled really low the other time. Now we all rolled really high. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's actually gonna... That's funny. She's gonna hold. She's gonna go later on. All right. All right, Zeb, at the start of your turn, please make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Ooh, 14. You made it. So she's horrifying, and you feel frightened for a moment, but you shake it off. What would you like to do? Um, um, she shrieks out. You know. What are you doing in my home? Uh... Are, are you Mildred? I asked very questionably. She's like, yes! She takes one of the fish and is just like... <laughs> you want to do anything else on your turn, Zeb? Um, can I <laughs> say anything else? Sure. Um, we were told to look for you. She, she says... She says... Well, you found me. Bam, pulls out the bone, you know. Um, Pleetle, make a uh, wisdom save. Sure. Oh, that's a that's a seven. Uh oh. Tackles. Okay, so you're frightened. Okay. So I think you just have to flee. All right. <laughs> I can look it up. But I'm pretty sure you have to just. Stay. I I think that's right. Yeah. All right. So you're fleeing. <laughs> on now on her turn, she's gonna chase you. And she, I'm she's, sorry we didn't. Knock. She's, as soon as you start fleeing, she like gets excited and, and she swims after you. And she's like, she's a butt naked old lady. It's, 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 it's Pleadle not, has the most interesting women in his life. It's not. <laughs> yeah, really. It's not what you expected. All right. And um. You, you look back for a fleeting moment and she gives you a death glare. Make another wisdom save. Slady. Oh, okay, that's much better. That's a 16. Okay. So for a moment, you felt like you almost had a heart attack. But you didn't. Alright, and so we'll uh, stop there. <laughs> next time on the Tortle Package. Oh, That'll be episode God. 2. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. Oh jeez. By Chris Perkins. I'm just sitting <laughs> on the shore talking at Winra, discussing the egg, my hopes that I don't kill it, <laughs> watching this the ocean, you know, <laughs> talking about how the boys opened up the sarcophagus when they knew better than to touch things. There was a lava incident recently. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess next episode Winra's suddenly is going to sit up. You know, like, oh, I'm better. <laughs>